Me there. Back again, viewers and subscribers. What's going on? People, big up on yourself. And I don't know the boy, yeah, man, is here. Yes, today we'll come to talk about the game last night, this morning, sorry. I, the game last night where Arsenal lose to Liverpool 3 1. And I believe that the players and Mikel Arteta show Liverpool too much respect or too, they fear them what they can do at home because, you know, Arsenal haven't win at uh, Anfield since 2012. I think uh, Santi Cazola will beat them 2 0 down there. That was the last time um, when Santi Cazola scored that goal come off the bar. That was the last time we, we beat Liverpool in Anfield. So we're talking about a good number of years now. And we know that Liverpool hasn't lost any game at Anfield for over three and a half years. And that's who come to an end. Remember, I tell you that one. But last night, Liverpool beat us 3 1. Yes. We, I believe that. All those three goals was gifted. It was poor defensive defending why they scored that, that three goal. It was a mistake from them where we capitalized on it. Um, Lacazette, now nah, give him a respect in a car. I say, Laka, from me, I show my sugar pie and say, sweetness, boy, I go score a goal up until now. I not get my royalty off it yet. But I don't say nothing, I still I keep cool. Yes, like I said, I still I keep cool because I don't see royalty yet. And I'm me, me can't score so much goal. But anyway, I'll leave that for a minute. Yes, people, so... Uh, Mikel Arteta go there with that starting eleven, And he done it at West Ham and we nearly get found out. Enketia come and bail us out. And he do it again. Obviously, you're going to lose against Liverpool if you play like that. And if you start a team like that, you're going to lose against them. That's what happened. We lose against Liverpool. And it was because of defensive mistake why we lose against them. Hector Bellerin. How can you let that happen twice? David Luiz, stand up and let people kick in ball on your 18 yard box. Like, why we have that? But that, that long line up front, the, the five. How comes the third goal score like that? How? Who are you defending? We can't go to Anfield and play like that. Set up like that. Why are we going to buy Gabriel and don't play him? Why are we going to have William Saliba and don't play him? Why? What is the reason for them two players don't play last night? Because it's Anfield. You have to go with David Luiz because he's experienced. No! At some point in time, they have to play against Liverpool. They have to. Why not now? Why not now? Where is the number 10? Why did you buy Williams and then you put Pepe on the bench? And you, in the West Ham game, we see Williams keep drifting coming into midfield. We see it over and over in the West Ham game. And he done it again last night. Now... I believe that Mikel Arteta get it completely wrong. Yeah? Liverpool come out playing that eye line. And why did we not capitalize on it? Why did Mikel Arteta never change it and say, okay then, one or two times you have to play the ball over. Lacazette um, and, and Williams, Pepe, we want you to stay on, um, on Van Dyke. And um, Gomez and um, Robinson. We need you to stay on them three. Because we're going to play the ball over the top. We know we have pace. We're going to run at them. Let they, let they think about what they're doing. Of course, Jorgen Klopp come out and said, yes, it was risky. But it's a risk that they take. And they're constantly taking it. They will get found out. They will get found out. Trust me. They're going to get found out. But... It was so obvious what they were doing last night. They're trying to close us down while we're trying to play from the back. And the way they closed us down, it was so... Not really man-marking. They was marking space. But what they do, they anticipate where the ball is going to go next and that's where they go. And Mikel Arteta doesn't react to that. So that is two mistakes that they make. If you're not man-marking, why would you come out with the ball much more easier? Why we keep losing the ball in our half if they're not man-marking because they're marking space? And you can see it last night, yeah? 
Why if they're playing, even if Allison was playing in a back three, Allison was playing in a back three last night, why didn't we react to that? This is where Mikel Arteta get it wrong. Now, we have um, the first goal that scored, Lacazette. We played the ball over the top and Abba Goyin. Um, Ainsley scraped the ball over. Robinson missed kick. Lacazette was in the offside position, but because Robinson played back the ball to him, him actually, he might even miss the ball and even catch it properly. Because I believe if he caught it properly, Alice would have saved it. 1 0 up. Two minutes and 23 seconds after, we give them back a goal. We gifted them back, Sani Nani a goal. Nami a goal, yeah? Why? Because Hector Bellerin, you're not defending properly. For you to play right back, you have to know who they're behind you. Because that position there is your position. You have to know exactly who's peeling off behind you. You have to know who's running come behind you. Because you have to position yourself where you can see who's coming towards you. And I am keep on saying that. We see we've done it last year. Position yourself where you can see the ball, the player, them, who's going to run off you. Who's going to come towards you. We see Jamie Vardy score a goal last year. Yeah. And Jamie Vardy run in between two players. And it's because we square, where we square up, we could not see Jamie Vardy going to run through two and, and, and tap in the ball. And last night it happened twice. Twice. And Mikel Arteta never dragged Hector Bellerin and said, listen, you can't do that. It happened again. Robinson come score again. Because the same way Robinson score are tapping. Are you going to tell them that's that gifted to Liverpool? Huh? That's respect you're showing them. Why is that El Mene and Xhaka? Why, why, Arteta, why did he do that? How can you go to Anfield and start El Mene and Xhaka in midfield? Who's going to take on the ball? Because they put Williams on the right, Lakers in the middle, and Abanyam on the left. Who's going to take the ball and create something? Williams? No, that's Pepe job. I'm, uh, it, it, the first half was, everybody was like, they didn't even wake up. They, 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 they wasn't even there. Kieran Tini, Tini, always have a good game. And Salah, take him to school the first half. Yes. What did Ainsley Nathan Nice job on the pitch last night to do? I don't know. I don't know what was his job because too much space over there. That's, that, 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 on the left hand side is, is overcrowded because we have, um, a Bangiam, Ainsley and, and Kieran Tierney on the left. But yet still, the two cross them coming to create the two first goal coming from the left. That shouldn't happen. Second half, Kieran Tierney get a grip of himself and kind of shut out Salah out of the game a little bit. Where he should have done that in the first half. But Ainsley should have been there to help him out. So Ainsley did have a good game. Hector Bellerin have a shocker. Kieran Tierney first half game wasn't good. David Luiz, we know what he's going to do. He's not going to give us a good game. Why, Mar, why um, Gabriel didn't start? I don't know. I see that. I see um, um, San and Nami a, 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 a play, a bounce off, holding off ball. A try go around. Like, come on. Let the little boy know who he is holding. Put one pan him. Where is the face the Arsenal? Where is the player them who look to left something in there? Let them know this is not easy. This is not a a, 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 a pram push thing. We can just come and push us over. Why? Now nah, me look on a little player like now nah, I'm more four feet four feet uh, um, tall. A, 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 a bunks off a big seven foot center off. Come on, man. We have nobody, nobody, nobody in midfield. Look on the line that they were playing. And Mikel Arteta didn't react to it. I'm going to come out and give Liverpool praise. I'm giving them no flipping praise. We play... Sh we was shambolic. Come on. It's for real. We should have win that game. We get a gifted goal. They give us a goal. We should have shut out the game. Because guess what? They're going to try and push for a goal. So if you try and push for a goal, we're going to go over the top. Lack of... Um... Um... Williams 
and, and, and a bang him, you better know the ball coming over, run at it. Look what happened. As soon as he make a change and take off Xhaka, put on Danny Ceballos, um, Danny, one true ball to, 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 to a bang him. Yeah? Danny, again, create something out of nothing for Lacazette to get the one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Lacazette, come on. You, 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 you get it first. Yeah, that one happened already where he was offside. So even the goal is going to be an offside goal. But you shall put it away. These are the things that you do. Regardless of the fact, put it away. Lack as it, you have to be more clinical. Stop making my sugar go to waste, man. Come on, lack as it. You're better than that. We know you're better than that. That's you, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Bam, goal. Nothing less. Two-two, then we can, the game's a different type of ball game. Now, we have David Luiz, we have Olden, we have Kieran Taney, we have um, Ainsley Nathan Lies, we have um, um, Bellerin, all of them on the 18-yard box. And Jata come score a goal like that, like, come on. How that supposed to happen? Where's the shutting down? Liverpool shutting, Liverpool run, run on us for the 90 minutes and we not running, but we are tired. The game last night that we get it wrong and I see it coming from the West Ham game and we bring the same type of ball 